everyone! Today I'm doing a video that I haven't done for quite some time because I am not buying any books but in September was my birthday on the 9th of September so that should be an exception for my rule. And I, anyway, I didn't get too many books but still. The first book I actually got as a present from my lovely bookish friend Unicorn from the bookish land. She sent me a book that I've wanted for such a long time and she sent me Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm so, so happy to have this in my possession now. I love the cover. It is absolutely gorgeous book. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the blue edges, but I'm still happy with it because I wanted to write first thing in the morning on the 9th of September somehow, just exactly on my birthday. 8 or 9 o'clock the postman brought this for me. I was so so happy to have it. It was a great start for my birthday actually and I'm currently reading it. I'm on page 163 at the point of me filming it. I'm absolutely loving the book. It is so beautifully written and I don't want to rush into this book. I want to read it slowly to enjoy every single bit of it. So this book is about this main character, Laszlo, Laszlo Strange, who is an orphan and a junior librarian. Since his childhood, he's been obsessed with this mysterious lost city of Weep. And now he has the opportunity to go and search for it. And he and some other people are trying to find out what happened 200 years ago to this city and why was it cut off from the rest of the world. So it sounds absolutely magical and I am very very much enjoying it so far and the rest of the books i bought in the biggest shop in europe i think it says so me and my husband went to london the weekend after my birthday and we went to waterstones the biggest shop it says it's the biggest shop in europe i don't know if that's true or not but it has five floors of books i was so happy there and he said i could spend some money on books because it was my birthday so we can look over the rule of my tbr rule so i bought four lovely books most of them are like middle grade books but i love such things so i don't mind it this one is more like a children's book i'm not sure how to say this Malking moonlight i think that this cover is just a masterpiece look at it it is so gorgeous I am in love with the cover. I love all the blacks, the purples and the black cat on the moon background. It, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And this book is about a cat who is a very special cat and he's been told that he's destined for great things. And now he sets out on an adventure to find a place where he belongs. It sounds like such a cute book, something that I would probably really, really enjoy. I don't even care that this is a children's book. I love the illustrations of it. Everything with cats, which sounds really cute, I will read it. I'm going to show you some illustrations. I don't know how well you can see, but some lovely illustrations. I think it's just a very gorgeous book and this will probably be the one that I'll be reading in cozy a -thon. Another book is Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funke sure how to pronounce the, the author's name. She is the author of Inkart Trilogy which I really really liked. I liked the first book a lot and again I love the cover of this one. And before I saw that book in the bookshop I've never heard of it before so that was completely new to me. I'm just going to read you the back of the book because it sounds so good and there's no way I can say it as beautifully as it says on the back. So a dragon, a boy, a journey Fire Drake, a brave young dragon, and a boy called Ben set out on a magical journey to find the legendary place where silver dragons can live in peace forever. Flying across moonlit lands and seas, they discover extraordinary new friends and a courage they never knew they had. Sounds so good. I am very much excited for it and I think it's going to be, to be another cute thing. And again, it has some lovely illustrations throughout the whole book. I love books with illustrations. There's just nothing better than books with illustrations in them. Another book is the first book from the series and this is The School for Good and Evil. I, again, love the cover and I've been wanting to read this series for quite a long time. There was the second and third books in the shop but I decided I will buy the first one and if I like it I'll buy the second and third books whenever I can. So in this book, every four years, two children are stolen and never return. Most children 
Sophia to go to the school for good and evil but Sophie has always wanted to be a princess and she thinks that it is her chance and her friend I assume is just wants to be a witch this sounds really really good and I love books about magical school so like I explained in my buzzwords video so this is one of them the ones that I'm very very excited about and it sounds really really good and I'm so 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 excited about this book I finally have it and the last book that I bought is another one that I've wanted for ages it is Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff I was thinking about getting a hardback of it because I thought it would be just a disaster to read it in a UK paperback because it's not floppy this one though looks quite good and I didn't mind to buy it in a paperback and the thing that I wanted to, why I wanted this book is basically the format of it I'm pretty sure everyone heard of this book but I like how it is in letters emails and other additional content some of the pages are black some of the things like this so it's a very very unique format of the book and I'm very curious about this one so I wanted to have it in my possession and now I can finally read it whenever I want to. This is a science fiction young adult novel set far in the future and there are two and there are two mega corporations that are almost at war over another planet. There is a disease going on on the ship and now everyone's trying to find a way to escape. This disease is also mutating with terrifying results. I am very, very excited about this book and hopefully I will love it. These are all of the books that I got in the month of September, my birthday month, and I am so happy about it. Now my TBR is about 20 books physical books and I'm going to at some point to do a whole video about my entire TBR collection to talk to you about to just show you what books I own and the books that I'm going to be reading at some point in the future. I'm very very happy with it. I love new books. It's just such a good feeling. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books or if you're excited about them or if you want me to do a review on one of those books. Thank you for watching. Bye!